I see the world through a businessman's glasses. I see the world through a glasses of somebody who has hired, I don't know, millions of people in my lifetime. I'm Hope Depot today is 330,000 people. We created millionaires of our, our, of our associates that work for us. I've, I've created jobs in America. I ran a business. I know what it is. I see what's going on today, and I'm frightened to death. I'm just frightened to death. And I, there doesn't seem to be a solution. You remember Home Depot started, there were no big stores. All the stores were little stores, little hardware stores and lumber stores and electrical stores. We put it all together in one big store. If it, the environment were the same, I mean, the same kind of business environment, um, we couldn't get past six stores. And what does that mean? That means that these kids that are coming out of college are not getting jobs because companies are not hiring. In fact, if you look at recently, HP let go of 20,000 people. The banks let 30,000 people go. Even if Romney is elected, it's going to be tough. But I think that he can change it. I think he can turn it around, and it's going to be turned around very slowly. But Obama's already said if he gets back into office, he's going to spend more. And the debt doesn't mean anything to him because this is what the attitude was in Greece, in Spain, that's what it is, that's what it was in, in, in France, and we're gonna end up like all of those countries, except who is gonna bail us out? I'm concerned about my family. I want my family to survive. I want my grandchildren to prosper. I want my grandchildren to have the same opportunities I had. My message to the Jewish community about 2012 election is you, you better start looking at the facts, and you gotta get your emotions under control. The facts are, number one, we have somebody in office that doesn't understand the economy, will never solve the economy. He's surrounded by people who don't have a clue of how to turn the economy around. Remember, these people that he's surrounded with, college professors, economics professors, uh, the lowest percentage of business people in any administration in the last 60 years. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. They just don't have a clue of how to turn the economy around, and they've demonstrated it. We have a housing problem that's not being settled. It's not being supported. We have a, a, a government today that doesn't care about spending money, your money, which you and your children are going to have to pay for forever and ever and ever. And it, your good life, your good life is not going to stay that way. It's just not going to stay that way. There's no question in my mind we can do much better than Barack Obama.